welcome back to another episode of what's that game again we're playing city skylines 2 we're back in eh we haven't named the city yet but that's okay we're looking at our college here and we have some exciting things to get to we have 5500 people here we're not making money still but we're steadily gaining people our office demand is non-existent we have a lot of medium density demand which is pretty interesting but the next thing we're going to actually work on in the last episode we talked about getting subways and i i firmly believe subways are the best mode of transportation in the game it's it's just one of the best ways to get people off of the roads and I, I love, I firmly believe like it's one of the best ways. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a subway station. I want to put it over here because I don't, I don't want to actually take it across the waterway because of the, because of the, tr uh, the train, the subway, it doesn't play well going underneath the waterways. Now I'll kind of show you what that does. Um, so if I take the subway train tracks, nah, even if I go all, oh, well, never mind. Spoke too soon. Look at that traffic. Look at all that traffic. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. But yeah, we're going to do it over here just because we have the space and I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to have to buy this towel here as well, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put it here. We're gonna put the subway here. We're gonna buy this towel as well. We're gonna buy, uh, let's buy two towels here. We can buy two towels there, that's, that's okay. So now that we got that off of the road, let's build a road down to it. Just so we can get this. Yeah, yeah. see, that's this is where my game sticks a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So let's draw a roundabout here. Let's draw a roundabout. Let's draw a little roundabout point there. Let's draw one there. So boom, now we have power and water to it. And what I like to do is go ahead and upgrade it with the, I have to go ahead and upgrade it with the maintenance hall and also the extra track because um, they're not, they don't really cost that much to be honest with you. So I like my maintenance hall stuff to be going one line. Uh, I'm drawing this underground. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. So delete that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we'll do the double subway track. I'll draw it out here. That way we got a clear shot. I like to use this. This is one thing I love about this game is the subway system. If you, if you don't use a subway system, you're missing out, man. It's one of the, the best mechanics in the game. And there's a reason for that. It keeps a lot of traffic off of the roads. It's it's so nice. So what I would do also, um, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to draw different ways. I've seen people where they draw like one line and it goes here and there. But I don't like that because it is it really clogs up your subways it clogs up clogs them up a lot actually so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this as deep as possible pause <laughs> so i don't think it's going to let me do it um because it's uh let's see here because of terraforming but so let's go ahead and like kind of flatten this flatten this keep this flat there you go, there you go. make that green because of the terraforming it was kind of messing up so let's do this. There we go. So we're only taking it as low as possible. And just so I can get it across the river here. So what I'm gonna do is as low as possible. Let's get it. Let's bring it up to the, not bring it up to the surface, but let's bring it up um, a little bit here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing here. 
And what I'm going to do is just bring this across as well. Bring that across, bring this up. Bring this up to the point where it comes out. And you want that double line because man, when it, when it comes to, and you know, in the second one, I can kind of like connect this in elongated and connected in, but, um, you want those two lines because it'll get clogged really quickly. If you don't do that, it will, it'll get clogged really quickly when it comes to subways. So I'm just going to go ahead and go up to the surface here and connect these two. I might have to bulldoze one of them. That's fine. So let's do that. And boom, boom, boom. let's do that. Okay. Boom. All right. So now it is connected and I have subways. I have the subway line coming. I have two lines coming over. And as you can see there, they're not obstructing the waterways. That's the most important thing. And that's what I love about the subway station itself. It doesn't obstruct the waterways. So what I like to do is put it right next to the campus, all of the schools, certain places and just all over. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Just put it in a couple places. We'll put one right there, right by the, right by the college. We'll put one right here, right in front of the high school. Uh, I think we'll put, should we do one in front of the, I think this is the elementary school. No, it's over here. Yeah. So we'll do one right here and it's so small. And like I said, it fits underground. It fits almost anywhere. And that's all I love about the subway. So we'll put it right here as well under our starting so right here. We'll put them. I put them everywhere. If the, a subway can get there, I put one there. And what this will do, it'll actually become very vital. Put one right there, put one right there. And it becomes very vital to your mass transit goals. We'll put one right here, put one right there as well. So boom, now all I have to do is look at these black lines and all I have to do is actually go ahead and connect them. Uh, so I turn on my, turn on my curve tool. I think I'm, I think I wasn't low enough here. That's fine. So I turned on my curve tool and I mean, I just get to connect it. I think this was lower. Yeah, there you go. So I just get to connect them because man, it's just one of those things where it's so easy to do. And it becomes such a, such a tool to use, man, like in your mass transit. I love it. And so just bring this down. Let's see here. Now, in my opinion, it curves better. It curves way better than the train system. You can actually curve these roads, the, the subway lines a lot more than you can a train a ton, a lot more. So I, I love that about this system. So now I've connected up these two. There's an in and an out to get back. Now we just connect up these over here. Like I said, I love the subway system and you're going to see how intuitive and how easy it is to get around using the subway system as opposed to drawing, man, drawing so many bus lines and all that good stuff. And it keeps people off the roads, which is the most, the most, most important thing to having a successful mass transit line in any game or especially City Skylines. So I'm just going to connect them up. I'm just connecting them up here. And really no particular, there's no particular like rhyme or reason here because it all kind of connects easily, pretty easily. And I can do like split roads and stuff like that too. Like I said, the subway is way more forgiving 
than the train line. And that I love about the subway. So I can draw my little double lines here. Yeah, just and just creating more than one way for stuff to get in and out as well will make it a lot easier. So just like you would create a highway, create that like off ramp, same thing with the subway. Same thing. Did I not, did I not get one there? Did I not get one? I don't know. <laughs> I think I missed one. That's okay. We'll come back. Did we get it? I don't think we got it. So this happens. This happens too sometimes. Um, it happens. It's part of the game. Yep. There we go. Yep. There we go. You just draw like just multiple ways where it can, you know, get in and out. And it'll kind of do the rest, basically. So I'll bring my, I'll bring my line up through this way just to kind of have it going, give me like different ways in and out. Super easy, super easy. It's not even that hard. And yeah, like I said, with the turning radius of the subway, it being able to turn tighter to do some tight turns, not all of them obviously, but to do some tight turns like that is amazing because you, the train, it's just so, I don't know, it's kind of like antiquated, but I'm sure it has a purpose, but I don't like using the train. Real life, yes, but on, the, on here, no, I don't like it. I wanna build like a, so let's do this. Yeah, let's just get like some. Can I get this here? I wonder is the height, is there a height difference here? I think there is. Yeah, I think there's a height difference here. So let's do that. So it just needs to be a little bit further away. I don't know what it's doing here. Yeah, I think there's a height difference in the two. So now this is on, let's see here. Yeah, no, there's a height difference somewhere in, in this. Why does it keep doing that? Okay. Yeah, there's a height difference somewhere. Okay, I think I found it. Yep, there we go. There we go. Can I get it in here? Is it locking in? Uh, 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 there we go. There we go. See that turning radius is a lot better <laughs> than trying to get on one of those trains. So let's do this. We're gonna pull this out and around. It's just like making sure they're the right height. That's that's kind of the kicker. So like here, I can do this. I can, I can still like get in here. I can still come around here, come around to the back of the school. I still like have that tie in. Boom. I don't know why it does that, but it does. It does that sometimes when it starts a height difference, and that's fine. So let's do that. All right, there we go. So now, oh, we got one, one more, one more right there. So let's delete this one. Let's go back a little bit. There we go. And I think that's it. That is a fully connected subway system built. I pause the game, but let's get some lines in here. 
so i'm not a big uh let's see here originate here we'll go through here we'll go through the right side of everything let's see here should i go here next or here no let's let's keep it going so we go here 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 and back here boom that's it oh i forgot we actually have some over here no big deal so what you can do is just come to this line drag this line all the way over here oh this is saying it doesn't have a way to get here Hmm. So let's do this. So it's saying it doesn't have a way to get here, but let's draw some more lines. Oh, <laughs> that would do it. If it's not connected, that probably would probably would tell us why it can't get over here. Yeah, that probably would be the reason. So we just tie these in right here. Oh. Yeah, that would do it. So now you see the, you should see trains coming out here or subways, sorry. Should see subways coming out here soon. But let's check our lines one more time. Let's go above. So, uh, so now they're both green. Yeah, so now they're both green, meaning that they're both available to be active basically so now you see the first subway here we only got one subway line at this point we'll have multiple trains on it and now we can draw out our price and we can set the price at yeah let's do 35 bucks or 35 cents do 35 cents here and slowly but surely we'll speed it up a little bit slowly but surely we'll start to get and as you see, you see the traffic is getting high as it is. But yeah, we'll slowly but surely, we'll start to see more trains um, begin to come out and, or subways. I keep saying trains, they're subways. They're subways, B, this is a train, which I don't like using. See that? See that demand is it's going through the roof. It's going through the roof. Now you just gotta wait. You know, you just gotta wait. Just like anything in this game, it scales. But my my thing is I would love to have people taking the subway as opposed to taking the bus. So if we come back and we look at our traffic, man, it's it's bagged up. It is all the time. But if you're not getting, if you're not wanting to go this way, you can definitely go a different way, but. So yeah, let's take away these crosswalks. That'll make it easier too. So I really need crosswalks here. So no over there. Let's do that. That should make our, oof, it's jam packed right there. All right, so we're getting people. They're coming. 146 people an hour. Uh, we got our college built APSU. We got a 12 month. The lowest I've seen is about a five month graduation time period, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm at 12 months right now, but so we got a lot of passengers waiting for that for the subway at this point. I'm telling you, if you haven't invested in doing the subway on your game, do the subway. It makes getting around so much, so much, so much easier. So all these people are coming to get on the subway and that takes them off of the road, it takes them off the road. Now, I don't know if it'll get the traffic down to, to like plus one or, or whatever, but yeah, it, it's just something to try. I noticed that it helps a lot, so I'm happy to use it. Unreliable healthcare coverage. God, 
these guys are always complaining about health care coverage. So what do we got? So I've learned in this game, if it's red, that that's what's unreliable about it. It's just red. So we'll put a clinic over here. And the we'll we'll do another police station as well. I think we're we're getting about to that point where we need another one. Kind of need a, need one over here as well. Don't really have a, a ton of money to really spend on services right now, but gotta give the people what they want, right? So we'll do another police station right here, and that will probably let us break up some of the districts as well. So up until now, we've had this as a, a district, but I think there's there's a police station over there now and there's a clinic. So we're gonna break this up a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna draw a SEP district here. And I've learned that using the district tool is one of the best ways to really keep your cities, best ways to keep your cities kind of in order, if that makes sense. Uh, do this. Oh, I love that. See, see how intuitive, intuitive that is. Man, I love that. You can do that. You can move both of them at the same time. That's crazy. Yeah, so there we go. So what I'm going to do is just so I can keep our services in the right area. We're going to select the operating district. Same thing with the police station. Select this as an operating district. And that way, those services don't go outside of this area at all. So now I'm not going to do it for this one. I wish there was a way for to kind of designate for it not to go, if that makes sense. Um, I wish there was a way to do that, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get there. So this one, I'm just going to do this district. I think there's a, is there a hospital over here? I don't think there's not a hospital over here. So I'm, I'm not going to put one over here for right now, just to keep our services level down. There's already a ton of, I'm putting out a ton of money and services right now. And that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're getting up there. So now we're actually industry demand is down. So now we need to zone more as far as medium density, low density housing. So I think now is a good time to actually zone more residential, which I'm going to do. So we're going to take a different approach here. Um, what about a couple of towels here? And we're going to terraform just a little bit, which I like this land to be flat. I like it to be flat, but you know, everybody doesn't play that way and that's okay. Um, I think after this next expansion, I'm going to make, make a hillside and that would be cool too. Um, but right now I just need to get this demand down really. So let's do that. We'll do that now. Um, we'll make, we'll make kind of like a suburb a little bit. Let's see. I love just looking at a, a high level view of this game. It's, it's very nice. Um, just the fact that you can look at it that way. And I love it, man. It's, it's a very nice game. So what I'm gonna do is come to get a four lane road. We're gonna, is that an eight lane road? I think it is. So we'll continue with the eight lane road out this way. Make sure it's 90 degrees, it is. We'll bring it on out here. And this, this is why it was so important just to get all of the roads unlocked as soon as possible. Now I did put an intersection down, um, off camera, but it's just so important to get this rose unlocked as soon as possible. It just gives you so much freedom in a way that you want to build. And it doesn't like lock you down to, Oh, you haven't unlocked 
such and such road. So you got to use the smallest, tiniest <laughs> road that they have available to you right now. No, you don't have to do that. So what I like to do is I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So this was all grids. That one was kind of a gritty intersection isk thing. So here we're just going to do we're going to do a lot of diagonal stuff. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. 45 degree angle here. Oh, oh. yeah, let's do that. So we get a 45 degree angle here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just want I do want our arterial rows to kind of be the same. And that's OK. We'll do this one at 45. We'll bring this all the way down to 180. And using the bigger roads to start off with keeps the traffic down. But now we want to switch to the just a two lane road with with some streets on it as well. And what I like to do, I'll do like a little grid here. I'll do like a little grid if I can, if I can get it in here. Can I get it in here? Are you gonna let me get in there? No. You're not. But what I can do, let's see if I can do it this way. Get in there. <laughs> okay. That's not gonna work. Let's do this then. Let's see if we can do it this way. There we go. That works. So we'll do it that way. And we'll just keep zoning that way. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I love the grid tool. It's it's uh, man, it's it's one of the best tools that they they came up with. I know some people don't like the gritty grid look of a lot of stuff, but me personally, I love it. I think it looks dope. Uh, I don't like that though. <laughs> I don't like the way it messed up the road like that, though. And that's OK. That's OK when it does that, too, because uh, I messed up a lot of the roads. It just took them all off. <laughs> eh, I don't like when it does that. But so let's do this. We'll delete that. We'll come back again. Same grid tool. Um, but this time we'll just. We'll just do this. And we'll build it this way. Cause I really don't want things on the road. I want them inside of here. So, so we'll just do that. That way we get the kind of like the same ratio aspect of it and not as much. We'll keep this. Yeah, we'll keep this just a single side right here. I like that too. I like this look too. Just bring it down. Keep doing it that way. And that way we have a little bit of a have a little bit of a break in continuity of styles per se. I don't know you're like, oh, it's not, it looks the same, but not really. Looks the same, but not really. But yeah, let's just it's just zone a little bit different. Yeah, just zone it a little bit different. Don't don't have to be and we'll leave that space blank because we want we probably want something big there. Maybe we unlock some sports parks or something like that. We we put it there. So let's see here. So what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna extend our district over here because we want this district to cover this as well. We want those services to cover this district. Boom. Victoria Springs. And that's so easy. I love the way I love how easy it is to just pull it over like that. And let's just say we we want to add a subway in here. Let's definitely uh, connect our neighborhoods here first. But but yeah, let's if we want to just add a subway, we could do that very easily. Let's see here. We'll do it over here. I try not to I try not to do like just a bunch of intersections at the same place. I try not to do that to avoid a lot of conjunction and stuff like that. Maybe we'll put some roundabouts in here too. 
I like runabouts. Boom. Boom. Uh, can't get it there. Boom. Can we get it there? Can we get it there? Nope. What is this? What is this? <laughs> got a little game glitch right there. That's okay. We got rid of it. That's all right. So boom, now we got everything connected. I think we're gonna put a subway um, either. Uh, I kinda wanna put it back here. Put it right here. Put a subway there. We'll put a subway here. And we'll just connect up the two. I think it's, uh, I think it's at height elevation again. Yep. Yeah, it was a height elevation. So boom, let's connect these two into the grid here. So we may have to move this one. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, see, that's why that's another reason why I love it. I keep saying I keep saying it. Um, the subway has all the perks and hardly none of the, uh, the negatives of the train. The train is so rigid. It doesn't turn as well. It's it may be good for cargo stuff, but just doesn't work for a lot of the passenger stuff. So now we got these neighborhoods already pretty much just already built up. So we'll go with some medium density stuff. I like medium density a little bit more than the row houses. So we'll do the row houses in here and that'll be pretty cool. That'll eat that demand up pretty quickly too though. And we'll do some medium density housing in here as well. I'll probably break this up with a, with a path or so. And we got some low density demand as well. well. We'll make a low density subdivision here and here as well. I think there's a, yeah, well, the train station is right there. So let's do something with that as well. Let's make it easier for, actually don't put this right there yet. So let's make it easier for our people to get to the train station. So we got one right there and one right here. We can just, oops, we can do that, right? We can just draw some paths here. And I didn't know this before, but if you draw a, you can actually draw this underground, <laughs> it's like an underground walkway, which is pretty cool. I love that about this game. I think it's pretty dope, but we're going to actually do a, we're going to do a covered pedestrian bridge across this, this vast, ah, it's not going to let me do it. Can I get it across here? Can I get it across here? No, no, yes, no. Can I get across all these? Yes, I can. So I can get across all of these, but it's gonna make mess up my. Ah, it's okay. It's gonna mess up my little thing here, but. It's not gonna let me do that, but at least I can do this part and just bring it down. I'll probably have to bring this down in sections too. It's a pretty steep incline, but it's okay. Yep, there you go.
There we go. And we got a path across the bridge there. And if we want to make a path across this road, that'd be cool too. Extend this one out. Can we extend this path? Can we do it? I think the snapping is gonna mess it up, but that's okay. Oh, Polaris Suites. We got another signature building there. There we go. So amongst all of the high or medium density buildings, we'll put this here. Cause I think I like this. I like this building. It's actually pretty cool. So if my theory is correct, we got, we just gotta let it grow just a little bit more. And I think it'll be okay in the end. So let's check our actual um, transportation. Check out our transportation overview here. And let's look at our trains. Oh my, see, see, that's what I'm saying. Trains, I mean, subways are the way to go. I promise you, they're the way to go. So 3,074 people per month. Let's see how much, let's see if we're actually making money from it though. Nope, we're not making money yet and that's okay. But I think we're still gonna need subways and stuff like that too. But right now we're gonna, we're gonna pull some lines over here. We're gonna pull this line over here. Then we'll pull this line here. Just so we can get these, get people coming to this subway station as well. But like I said, I love subways and I think they're the way to go. My personal opinion. Let's take a look at where we are right now. Um, so it's 50 passengers here, 32 passengers here, 81 passengers here, 59 passengers, 82. I'm telling you, they, and it takes, it's, has a pretty high capacity at a thousand and eighty. And it keeps those people off of the road. Now I don't know how I don't know how well the traffic thing scales. It's still saying a negative one, but I think we are it is we've grown quite a bit. We're at 273 people per hour. And I think that number is gonna continue to rise as we expand more and more here. Oh, so I think we got one that's kind of off the beaten path here. So we need to dezone this. And maybe we'll put like a park here or something. Small playground, campfire, no, it's too big. Yeah, so we'll do like a small plaza here instead. There we go. And I think that's gonna do it. For this episode, I think we're we're right at the the next milestone. Oh man, yeah, we're right at the next milestone. It is uh, about four hundred points away. Hmm, I think the next thing that we do, uh, we're gonna get that solar power plant because we need to take care. Of, we've kind of taken care of our water issues, and we're gonna take with the waste water treatment plant. Cause if you can see, we're not needing any water. We're not eating, needing any sewage treatment as well. And I think we only have one water pump, which is here, which we actually probably don't need anymore. Oh, why is it saying that? Okay. Okay. We turn it back on. So we'll keep it on. There we go. So we, we actually only have one water pump, but the rest is just being recycled by the wastewater treatment plant, which is great. It's exactly what you want it to do. So let's take a look at the, so let's turn on the roadside parking fee over here. We're going to take this one up. Cause this is a more, it's a area over here. That's just, you know, high demand. we got medium density, a lot of stuff over here. So we'll take that up and see what that does. I don't really mess with taxation that much. Uh, it's probably, I probably should, but let's see, we can we can take this up just a tad. 
and that does as you can see it does mess with your demand because if they have to pay higher taxes you're going to get less people that less businesses that want to come to your town which you know we're getting there i think it's looking pretty good are we at we're at the milestone there we go we just hit it big town so we got 1.9 million coming in eight more development points and 10 more expansions so i think in this next one we're definitely unlocking the solar power plant which i love um and another thing what i love to do is using the battery to actually uh kind of act as a substation and i'll show you i'll definitely show you what i mean by that um let's see here now this solar power plant is pretty expensive it's 1.5 million dollars but however there's a kicker to that is 1.5 million but there's an extra add-on that's six hundred thousand dollars and it allows the solar panels to move with the sun it's pretty impressive and what that does which we're going to go ahead and unlock it here uh so we're going to put it over here in our industry zone per se over here so let's put it over here, actually, um, just way, way out the way. Where's the road part? I always miss, I always mess with the road. Okay, there it goes. Right at the bottom, there's a road part. So we're gonna put it right over here at the very edge of the map. And we're gonna put a road on it. Let's put this road here. Let's put this road here. Bring this row down and just connect it in. Yep, 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 yep. Bring that row down and connect it in, just like so. Doesn't have to be perfect. And let me show you this upgrade. So this is the one, advanced tracking system. The panels automatically turn to keep pointing at the sun, increasing effectiveness of the energy production six hundred thousand dollars for that that's a pretty hefty thing but i'll i'll definitely show you why it's very necessary and is very vital to do so because now i'm going to go ahead and connect it into the grid as well that way i can start exporting power and i'm going to show I'm going to show a little trick here as well. So now we have our own power. So all up until this point, every episode we've have been importing power. Now we've, we're going to turn that around. And what I like to do also as well is to have the emergency battery station act as a kind of a substation. And I'll show you how I do that. It acts as a substation because there's a high voltage connection here. Maybe I don't put it right there, but let's put it over here. So where the original substation is. Yeah, we'll, we'll sit in here. Will it fit right here? No, it'll fit on this island though. There we go. So we'll take this substation away. We'll put in this. We'll connect this up. Uh, we'll bulldoze this. Come here and bulldoze this line too. Okay. And just like that, now we have an extra 500 milliwatts, uh, megawatts hours of power that is going to be charged. And in case that solar power, solar battery, solar power plant goes out, now we have, we're generating so much power and we have a 500 watt hour battery backup. It's great. So we should see, we actually should see the money start to turn around as well here soon. So as soon as that, so right now we have zero service trade. So as soon as this battery fills up, we're going to start exporting power 
This is in a minute and 30 seconds. Or an hour and 30 seconds game time. So probably like a couple of minutes here. So when that fills up, we're going to start exporting power and making a lot more money. So right now we are just keeping score. We're 1.5, we're, we're basically $20,000 an hour in a hole. And we need to rectify that immediately. So while that's doing that, um, we need more low density housing. So this is gonna be our low density housing area here. We're gonna bring our road out. Let's see here, Let's keep it straight. I'm gonna keep it straight here. While it's doing that. And we're just gonna start building subdivisions. Subdivision after subdivision after subdivision. And these I'm not gonna make straight. Cause I don't want them, I want, I want them to be kinda neat, but not cookie cutter-ish, you know what I mean? I do want it to make like kind of a pattern here. Just there, we'll make it just here. And let's check our, okay. So let's now, we were at zero service trade. <laughs> and now we have 432,000 in the positive of a service trade. Taking our, we almost cut our deficit in half per hour. Now also this is gonna go up. This is gonna go up as well. So now we were not making money. Now we're gonna start making money. And let's take a look at our subways. Now we're at 4,550 people taking a subway each day, which is great. Let's take a look here. Are we making money from transportation yet? Uh, no, we are not. We're only making 43,000. Huh, interesting. So what we can do is we only have the one subway line, but we can raise this fee up to 40 cents and see if that helps. Also, one thing that I didn't learn until a lot later in the game is if you click here, city information, city policies, you can take up your taxi fee. So if we make them 40 cents as well, cause we got a lot of taxis going around, ton of them, look at them, they're everywhere. And they can go anywhere. So if you take that fee up, now you just made a little bit more money as well um, throughout your city. So if, let's take a look at our traffic, uh, let's see here, one, it's still negative one, but that's, that's partly because I don't know if that's a bug or not, but I feel like the traffic's pretty good. I mean, there's not much traffic except getting on and off the highway here. That's our only, that's our biggest traffic area. And there's nothing really we can, there's nothing really we can do about that. You know, we can make another off ramp right here, maybe, maybe, but I don't really think that's gonna, gonna really help a whole, whole lot, my opinion. So this, I didn't want to make cookie cutter. So this is going to be kind of, kind of wonky and that's okay because I'm not looking to make it exactly perfect. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to, to basically just trying to zone a bunch, a bunch of stuff here without it being cookie cutter ish. And this is gonna be all low density. We'll leave that space there actually. Um, I like this, I like this. Uh, this looks pretty good, doing this. Uh, probably should put a roundabout there. Oh no, I can't get a roundabout there. I'll put it right there. Maybe that one's too big. 
you know, too many junctions. Yeah, that's probably too many junctions. Yep, yep, yep. So, same here. We'll put it there, and we'll bring this. Can we bring this here? Yep, we can do that, and that's okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to zone. I actually, I actually like the ones that aren't perfect sometimes when you've zoned so many perfect subdivisions, you kind of want the ones that, that aren't perfect anymore. And we'll kind of leave a space here as well. We'll leave a space right there and we'll put a cross here. So this is all going to be low density housing. And as you get further and further away from the city, you kind of get that low density. Like this is a suburb. This is a part of town where I can just kind of kind of let loose, if you will. And that's OK, too. <laughs> so we're going to zone all in here, except the main rows that connect as we've been doing so often. here. There we go. Yep. So we'll zone all in here. We'll let that let that zone in as well. Check back on our transportation. Again, you're at five thousand people per month. Five thousand citizens taking the subway. And I need to make some subway train stations down here as well. Now, if you go back and you look at our money production. We're actually making a making money now, even though it says we're not. We're actually making money now. We're at negative seven thousand. But if you keep looking at the ticker there, the money keeps going up. It just keeps going up, keeps going up, keeps going up because that service trade. Now you're actually making a ton of money from your resources, from electricity. Exactly. So that's. That's what you want. So you want, I would get to that as soon as possible early game because it's paramount that you get there because it makes it so much easier. So like, boom, we put a subway, put a subway line there. Uh, we'll just do one over here. Cause it's, I think it's getting kind of congested here. Maybe we'll do one right there. Uh, connect that right there. Boom. And actually, we'll do it like that. Do it like that. Let's see, so this one didn't connect. Got a little issue there. It's okay. We'll fix that. So that's when it goes. It's like off center like off the height difference you can tell so boom we'll do this and we'll just bring this line over and boom now now you're connected in you got subway station there you got more low density housing and they're still relatively close in the city now the next thing i need to do is make an off ramp here which we will do in the next episode. I thank you guys for watching the channel and being with me for the last hour. Man, it seems like these this time just like go by. You're having so much fun. Oh, let's check on our um, check on the college here. So we're getting a lot more educated people. And I think next episode we come back and we detail the college because now we're actually making enough money to actually do that. So I think that's something we kind of focus on the college and maybe we plop down the university next episode maybe yeah so yeah it's been fun drop a comment down below we'll name the we still haven't named the city it's what's that game again just like the channel but yeah just uh let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time goodbye peace out <laughs>